All right, welcome to the video. And in this video, we are going to learn uh, something really cool that is data visualization with Python and Seaborn. Did you ever wanted to make such beautiful plots? Just look at that. All the beautiful plotting, the regression line, the hex plot, the KDE plot, the pair plots, and stuff like that. So, in this video, you would be learning all of that. So, this would be a three part series where I would be dividing this video into a number of sections where we would be doing uh, uh, all of that. So let's get started. So first of all, what do you need to do is, first of all, we wanna make sure that we install all the dependencies. So if you don't have NumPy, what you can do on the, I mean, Jupyter Notebook, you can say pip install NumPy. Similarly, you can say pip install Seaborn and stuff like that. I already have that. Make sure you say matplotlib uh, under uh, uh, inline. So we're gonna use the tips dataset for the example so that I can uh, quickly uh, show you visu uh, the visualization. So let us uh, load the dataset so we can just say sns dot load dataset uh, tips and I can say df dot head. So here we have the beautiful data set. Now, uh, if I want to do a quick, uh, uh, I want to see what is the distribution of uh, this bill amount. So first of the first plot that I'm going to explain you is going to be a uh, dist plot. Oops, sorry, sorry for that. So essentially it tells you the distribution, right? So to do that, you can say SNS dot dist plot, hit tab to autocomplete. Oops, sorry for that. Now the disk plot will take a data frame or, or a column, right? So which column we are gonna give, right? So remember, we're gonna say total bills. You wanna see the distribution part. So just hit it and here you see we have a nice distribution. So here you can see the bill amount is usually between $10 to $30, it seems like from this and it's following a nice uh, distribution. So that's the first plot, that is the disk plot. Now what else you can do with this? Uh, so a couple of parameters that, that you can give by default. Uh, so, so the first parameter that would be bins, right? So of course you can, don't give two higher bins, usually about 30 to 40, 40 bins are fine. So here you see it's now uh, shows a, a little spread it out. So the bins, you can supply the bins argument. So that is the first plot, right? Now, now the second plot that I wanna show you is the joint plot, right? So the joint plot is usually used for categorical data. So, right, joint plot, make some space out there. So this is the joint plot that we are gonna do. So the join plot takes two arguments, that is the X and Y. So to do a simple join plot, you can say SNS dot join plot, right? Now given the X argument, that is gonna be total bills. And uh, Y would be, um, let's see, Y would be tips, tip. And after that, you can supply data which is nothing but your data frame. So if you run, here you see you have a beautiful plot, looks so beautiful, right? Now, another thing in join plot in Seaborn you can do is, let me just copy um, this piece of code, supply here. Now, one more thing that you can say is KDE, or I'm sorry, kind. Here you can specify the kind explicitly. So if you say scatter, you're gonna get scatter plot. So let me show you something more. But if you say hex, run it out. So now we have the hex, hex plot. So here you can see this concentrated right more here. Now, a few more things in the join plot. So now, um, so now let me gonna show you the same thing. But now, instead of this, I'm gonna say KDE, run up. And here you see it shows a nice concentration. You know, this is nothing but the KDE plot. Now, what else you can do is, um, let me revise first of all, whatever we did. So we did the disk plot uh, in this video, then we covered join plot. Then we saw that in the join plot, we can give an arguments known as scatter or hex or KDE, depending upon what you wanna do. I think it also takes an argument known as reg, which, which stands for regression. So here you can see it does a linear regression for you. Very beautiful. So these are the four arguments you can do. Now I wanna show you something uh, so that's about the join plot. Now moving forward, that is the third plot. So we saw all of these, right? 
So now we're gonna go to the pair plot. So if you wanna just do a quick plot, so usually the pair plot is the best. So you can say SNS dot pair plot, hit auto tab to complete. Then you, you can just apply the data frame and hit enter. Automatically the Seaborn will do, um, you know, plot everything and you know, you have a beautiful plot. You can do analysis on that. So that's the pair plot, so. All right, so moving forward after that, we have, um, what do we have now? So we're done with the pair plot. Uh, of course, you now wanna show you something. Uh, yeah, let me show you that as well. So now in the data set, guys, if you observe, we have sex as male and female. So now if you see the pair plot that we just made, uh, it's it's not colored and you know we want to separate it by some kind of category categorical data so what you can do guys here you can supply you and simply the name of the column right and hit enter I mean sorry the run command so now you can see the there are colored dots that is the yellow and the blue so here you can see the yellow stands for female blue stands for male a little more interactive a little more informative right so of course, then you can supply uh, argument on a palette. It can be cool, warm. So basically just kind of different styles. Now uh, for categorical uh, plots, that is nothing but, um, you know, which has strings in it. So for those kind of plots, um, I'm gonna show you the first plot. That's gonna be um, the bar plot, essentially. Hit what would have to complete. And what it does is basically, we have to supply a category. So you can see X and Y. So Y has to be numerical and X has to be categorical. So again, I can say X equals to DF. S was capital or small? Six, small. S, E, X, X. Then we can say Y, which has to be a numerical column. Remember that. So in this case, total bill. And of course, by usual, it has to take the data frame. So here you see it's giving me a nice count of males and females. Uh, who spends more? That's of course males. <laughs> so, uh, but what we can also do is we can also give a count plot. So x equals to just pass in the total bill and automatically. Oops, I forgot the the data. Oh, okay. Let me do that. Hopefully. Moving to my notes quickly. So that was the bar plot, right? Now, similarly, we have the count plot. The count plot will uh, take, if you wanna see what is the ratios of males and female, of course, you have to take a category and not. So here you see, this is a ratio of males to female. It tells us a nice count plot. Once you're done with that, we have a box plot. So similarly, box plot will take, um, as I said, one should be categorical and another should be numerical. So SNS dot box plot, right? And as I said, the X has to be, as I said, X has to be categorical. So DF. And um, the Y, as I said, has to be numerical. And data. So here you see, we have a nice box plot. Uh, so that's essentially the box plot. So I was doing with a day. Um, of course, you can change this to day, or whatever categorical columns you want. It totally depends upon you, right? So that's the Oops, box plot. All right, so here we have beautiful box plot. We can also supply a parameter of hue if you wanna see this uh, data with respect to males and females. Here you can see the blue are males and female on Thursday. But you know, what we can do is you can also supply split true. Oh, it does not take split, that means. <laughs> All right, good. So let's remove that, run it. We have the box plot. 
once we're done with that so i showed you the box plot then we have the violin plot which will essentially give more information about the data uh, basically gives us a distribution so so violin plot just gonna give the same thing you can give of course the hue if you want to separate out the data so here you can see nice violin plot shows the distribution right and at the end i'm going to show you the heat map so sns dot we can say heat map and um, we can say df dot core correlation hit and oops hit enter whoa well, what did oh so yeah we have a nice thing now we can say a not equals to true to see the values yeah we see if you want to you know separate it out a little bit so we can give the parameter line color and line width uh, so just kind of paste it up quickly so here you see so that's it for this video this i hope this video was useful if so do give me a like and subscribe to my channel have questions post them in the comment section below and um, i shall see you guys next time so just revising what we did so we saw this plot we saw join plot and join plot we have scatter plot we have um, uh, the hex plot the kde plot the reg uh, reg then we saw the pair plot then we saw we supplied some external arguments then we saw bar plot count plot box plot violin plot and heat map correlation plot that's it for this video hope you guys enjoyed it and if so do give a like and as usual um, subscribe to my channel and you can support me by liking this video and sharing this video to the people whom you think it would be useful so that's it for this data visualization with um, uh, seaborn uh, i'm gonna make a couple of more tutorials uh, so that the next tutorial would be on um, using uh, plotly and cufflinks so stay connected see ya